was a little bit before the tremors hit, this old man showed up with a... and a... and a whole pack of robots. They carried poor Professor Pickle off, lab data and all. You're kidding me. That sure sounds like Eggman. What a horrible thing to do. We've got to go help that professor guy out, and fast. If he got kidnapped that long ago, he's got to be real hungry by now. And, and if I was that hungry, uh, I don't know how long I would last. I'd rather be dead. <sighs> Sure, Eggman is feeding him, even he's not that cool. Okay, <laughs> let's go and find the professor. Hey, what's up guys? Sonic says I'm going to bring you guys part 5 of our Let's Play of Sonic Unleashed on the Xbox 360. So in the last video, we did Tornado Defense Act 1 to in Spagonia. But since in my recording said I wanted to be an F-boy, I have to do the whole thing over again, which we're going to be doing it on mine, which ought to go by really quick. Unfortunately, I won't be showing off any secrets. It's just the... Unfortunately, but I'm over. Oh, just about overpowered. So yeah, how have I done it? Like, mom, I collecting eight and five out of six. Okay, so there's a sun metal over there and a record over there, but I will point out where they are, though. I will, I will do that. I will do that, though. Since you know, I'm since you know, kind of like you know, not gonna show it off. The least I can do is at least tell you where it is or like where to, where to look. But do be aware is that whenever you do collect them, though, that you will have to battle little rexes and red rexes. Had the I'll say, let's see, status. I'll say, for my warthog, let's see, he's maxed everything except for shield and strength. Everything else is maxed out. And then, you know, my Sonic is maxed out. If it's smushed together, I'm sorry. St I still will be recording. So yeah, there's poles up there, and you it'll lead you to a moon metal. Then there's one that I haven't actually collected on here myself. Oh, you go back there, you go here, like, to there, there's another one, like, pole you can swing on. Yep, I never found that one right there, I don't guess, but until now, that is. So, yeah. I think I still have the hook up here. I don't think I can be going at least this time because I have so much health and I'm so in the werehog I have night and I'm so strong. Like I don't really think it's necessary to go unleashed. Oh, I did the werewolf. Okay. Dang, I really should have kept it going because I showed you guys that. So yeah, you see right there, there's a, uh, a sun metal floating. Also, if you go down, of course, you know you're not going to die. If you go down to a, a below this platform right here, there's a moon metal, like, in the uh, bottom left corner. So yeah, that's the owner of a whole bunch of enemies. There's a post going to take you a few minutes. But, all you got to do is double jump here at the B button, and voila, you can skip all that. Probably say about, oh, in this room, there's a art book and a sun metal. Same thing right there. There's a sun metal there as well. There's nothing over here. If I'm not mistaken, no, there isn't. I 
Oh gosh, just completely missed the whole platform. Triggering, isn't it? So there's a summit we don't like go full blast because we are hovering over a bottomless pit, so I would I would be wary to be to take care take you know precaution. So Moon Metal originally right there, right here there is a, a videotape which you can use to unlock a movie. Okay, get right here, get up here, there would be a Moon Metal waiting for you, and then you know drop down, and there's a Sun Metal up under the pillar. And then you just come down here, and if I'm not mistaken, that is a uh, sun metal. And, uh, I forgot to show. I'm gonna show off the spinning needle here. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. Have to be running, and then jump, and then press the Y button mid jump. <laughs> I like that. It's pretty, it's very useful. I also can use like when you want to get somewhere a little bit quicker. So you just want to come up here. Okay, didn't even know I did that. And there's a moon metal right here. Like this isn't, I don't know, this isn't like complete, like all of them. Oh, wait, wait, I can zoom in with this. Oh, yeah, so this pole, I mean, like a dart back sniper will appear and go up there and get a record, but just know once it appears, you have to, like, you have to do any adjustments, it will shoot at you. Uh, that that should be good enough, hopefully. <laughs> uh, probably not. Oh, yes it is. Good deal. Alright then. Okay, now to the final area of the stage. Yeah, we don't have to collect all like the collectibles. The night stages go by pretty quick. Especially like when you're strong and come back to like like early stages in the game. Like it's, it's really not the game. It's like it, it's really easy. Yeah, like strict, like strict stage, like completely, Savannah Citadel is completely like, only on PS3, 360 version, it's not on the, uh, not on Wii PS2, the only thing you get there is the boss battle, which we'll be showing off in the next video, and there we go, that's it for Savannah Citadel Night Act 1. Dang, I got a new record for mine, 7 minutes, alright, that's not too bad, and I got a new moon medal, so... Got a long way to go with the strength. But anyways, I'm going to play these two cutscenes right here. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. And well, after these two cutscenes play. Just in case it is crushed together, I'm going to like zoom out for these. Concoction foods. Look here. Do you see this sorry excuse for a sandwich? The bread should be no less than three quarters of an inch thick. Upon it, one tablespoon of mayonnaise and a pinch of black pepper. The contents fresh cucumber, sliced thinly, if you please. Am I quite right, Sam? I know I learned something here today. Professor, it's good to see you have a chance. But tell me, what brings you here? The menu is hardly worth the trip, if you ask me. 
Someone taught the chef here how to make a proper sandwich. You can try it with a great waiter, Professor. Let's get out of here before Edna's welcoming committee shows up. Oh, yes, quite. But let us be sure to collect the contents of that vault before the party. <laughs> documents are known as the Gaia Manuscripts. They tell the legend of a disaster that befell our planet some tens of thousands of years ago. A disaster? Quite. And according to the Gaia Manuscripts, this isn't the first time the planet has been broken apart into pieces. Ah. The cause lies at the very core of the planet. All the phenomena we've witnessed are the direct result of one creature. The hyper-energy organism spawned at the planet's core. Dark <coughs> Gaia. So how do we stop this Dark Gaia and put the world back together? Luckily, Dark Gaia has yet to be fully reborn. We most likely have Dr. Eggman's premature wake-up call to thank for that. <coughs> Why am I a nasty? So, you must travel to each of the temples listed in the Gaia manuscripts. The planet's power will restore the Chaos Emeralds, and in turn, the Chaos Emeralds will restore the planet and help it heal naturally. <laughs> 